Here's my review for the Nintendo GameCube controller. Yeah. It's one of my favorite game controllers. The only complaint I really have about this thing, like, that's just to say, for start, to start off, is that there's no button right there. There's only one right there. But I like the shoulder buttons, but I'm not sure if they're digital. Like, I th I'm not sure they're analog. I think they're digital. But, um... And also how it's like an octagon right there. Yeah, it's an octagon. Um, should have put circle on there. And the D-pad. It's not... It's too tiny. But the good thing is it's really comfortable. It's like the Xbox controller. It's really comfortable. And I like how they have the big A button and the little tiny B button. I mean, it did something else besides what PlayStation, Xbox, and Dreamcast and everything else were doing. It just tried to go kind of old school arcade -y, And it works. It actually feels really good. Start and pause. I mean, they actually labeled it. It's much better than the N64 controller, I'll tell you that. I mean, it's one of my... I've racked up lots of hours on this thing. All, like, playing Need for Speed with this, I mean, not don't feel as good as an Xbox controller with racing games, but other games, this is amazing for, like, platformers. This thing is a good, is a really good for platformers. Be controlling right there and be moving and going like that. Yeah. It's really good. Now there were some third party controllers that have one right there. I think it's an X button or something like that. Like a Y or an X or something like that. They have L and R. And they have wire wireless ones too. Yeah, so. Good thing they didn't put C buttons. It's just the C. That's all. That's one thing I really didn't like. I mean, it's okay, but I mean, if they would have just made that an analog stick and not name it C, it would be good. I mean, really, when they made the Wii U controller, they put digital triggers. Not analog, but digital. Like, who in the world put digital triggers on a Wii U? That's stupid. I mean, whoever designed this controller, pretty good. I mean, it's like for every, like for Nintendo, it's like innovation. Like to get a new controller, you have to take a lot of risks. While PlayStation, they really never change anything. And Xbox, that always gets better. But Nintendo sometimes gets better. Like with this from the Wii, from the N64, it got way better. But to the Wii, nah, not really. But that's just my opinion. Some people think it's way better. But I think not. I think this is the best Nintendo controller they've had. Besides the Super Nintendo and the NES. The Wii U controller looks promising. But analog sticks up here. No, I'm used to Xbox kind of style where it's like this. Yeah. And the buttons weren't really cheap either. Like, I mean, my 360 controller... I've dropped it on the ground by accident. Like, when I was little when I had the 360, I used to throw it. And the buttons kind of get sticky anyways, but that didn't help. But at one time, I was just playing, and I just went, oh, I actually don't like it. I just dropped it, and the B button broke. It, I mean, it didn't, I mean, it works, but it's sticky. But you can tell everything Nintendo is well put together. Like, this thing has, there's nothing on this broken. I mean, it's dirty here and there, and you can tell it's kind of dirty, but it's well put together. There's a, nothing's broken, and, um, oh, let's see, when was this thing made? Well, it's made in China, but that's something good made in China. I mean, I don't know when it was made. It was made probably in 2001 when the console was released. Nintendo GameCube controller DOL-003, made in China, CE. I don't even know what CE is. That's one thing I never use is the D-pad, like, I mean, every time I'm playing, I use this, because it's really, it's really good analog stick. I mean, tell me anybody who's used the D-pad on the GameCube, but really can't use it. It's pretty much useless. Like, if it were bigger, that'd be, that'd be one thing, but it's just, most games really didn't really need it. Even for menus, I use this thing. Maybe just for menus, that's when I use it, but that's it, but I'm... I just now started using the D-pad on the GameCube, but any other, that's, I mean, sometimes I just forgot it was even there. Like, I just thought it was everything else. 
I mean, if there's a controller is that sometimes you forget some things are there, you can tell it's good. So, yeah. Well, I guess that's about it. I'll see you later.